If you were a kid in the 1950s and had a TV, you were probably obsessed with George Reeves' Superman. But the story of Reeves' tragic life and suspicious end were most likely unknown to TV audiences at this time. George Reeves, whose original name was George Kiefer Brewer, was born on January the 5th, 1914 in Woolstock, Iowa in the United States. He was the son of Donald Carl Brewer and Helen Lesher. However, when Reeves was only five years old, his parents separated and his mother remarried a wealthy businessman named Frank Basolo. Frank adopted George and gave him the name George Basolo. Reeves grew up in Pasadena, California and had a comfortable childhood due to his stepfather's financial success. From a young age, Reeves showed a keen interest in acting. He participated in school plays and local theatre productions, which fueled his passion for the craft. He attended Pasadena Junior College and later studied drama at the prestigious Pasadena Playhouse, where he honed his acting skills. He was also a skilled amateur boxer and musician. He performed in dozens of plays and was discovered by casting director Maxwell Arno. Reeves made his way to Hollywood in the late 1930s and began his career in the entertainment industry. He initially struggled to find roles and worked as a bit player in films such as Gone with the Wind in 1939 and The Fighting 69th in 1940. He also worked as a stuntman and had minor roles in various films, gradually building his reputation as an actor. In 1940, Reeves landed a contract with Warner Brothers and his career gained momentum. He appeared in films such as Tobacco Road in 1941, Lydia also in 1941, and The Strawberry Blonde again in 1941. However, Reeves' career was temporarily put on hold when he enlisted in the US Army during World War II. He served as a cavalry sergeant and later as a cryptographer during the war. After his military service, Reeves returned to Hollywood and resumed his acting career. He appeared in films such as So Proudly We Hail in 1943 and The Thin Man Goes Home in 1944. He also worked in radio, performing in popular shows such as The Adventures of Maisie and The Adventures of Ellery Queen. Reeves' big break came in 1951, when he was cast as Superman in the TV series Adventures of Superman. The show was a massive success, and Reeves' portrayal of the Man of Steel earned him widespread recognition and made him a household name. The show aired from 1952 to 1958, and Reeves' performance as Superman became iconic, setting the standard for future portrayals of the character. Despite the show's popularity, Reeves struggled with being typecast as Superman and finding other acting opportunities outside of the role. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to remember this if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all of our latest content. Although his Superman costume was padded, Reeves himself was actually very athletic and did most of his own stunts for his role in Superman in 1952. Episodes routinely required him to jump from significant heights to simulate Superman landing in frame or hitting a springboard with enough force to propel him out of the frame. A frequent stunt required Reeves to grab a bar outside of camera range and swing in through a window, clearing his own height over six foot and landing on his feet. Reeves had mastered this gymnastic move so well that he could perform the stunt and immediately deliver his dialogue without the need to cut to another angle. On April the 15th, 1955, he made a rare public appearance as Superman at the annual Cub Scout Jamboree at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles, where he patiently met hundreds of Cub Scout fans and signed autographs of himself as Superman in his famous costume. Reeves was the oldest actor to play the role of Clark Kent Superman in live action, given that he was 43 years old during the filming of the sixth and final season of Superman. During his time as Superman, Reeves faced personal challenges. 
He had a strained relationship with his co-star Phyllis Coates who played Lois Lane. Coates left the show after the first season and she was replaced by Noel Neal. Reeves also had financial issues as he did not receive royalties from the show's merchandising and he struggled to manage his finances despite his success on screen. Reeves was known for his charm and good looks and had several romantic relationships with women throughout his life. One of his most notable relationships was with Tony Mannix, the wife of MGM executive Eddie Mannix. Reeves and Tony had a tumultuous relationship that lasted for several years and it was rumoured that Tony provided the financial support to Reeves during difficult times. Despite his challenges, Reeves continued to work in the entertainment industry. He appeared in films such as Stamp Day for Superman in 1954 and Superman's Peril also in 1954, which were spin-off films from the TV series. He also made guest appearances on popular TV shows like The Lone Ranger and Perry Mason. Tragically, on June 16, 1959, Reeves was found dead in his Beverly Hills home at the age of 45. He had been shot in the head and his death was ruled to be self-inflicted. However, there have been speculations and controversies surrounding his death with some believing that he was murdered. The circumstances of his death remain a topic of debate to this day. Many of Reeves' friends and colleagues didn't believe that his death was related to the Manic situation. However, no credible evidence has ever been produced to support that contention. Reeves' legacy as Superman and his contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be remembered. He has been honoured with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and his portrayal of the Man of Steel has remained iconic in the hearts of generations of fans. Despite the mysteries and controversies surrounding his life and death, George Reeves is remembered as a talented actor who brought the beloved superhero to life on screen and left an indelible mark on Hollywood history. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you have a favorite George Reeves movie or moment in his career that you remember the most? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already done so, click the bell icon to stay updated on all of our latest content.